Hello and welcome. Please visit us at wehavehopeindarktimes.blogspot.com for more biblical studies. Subscribe so you'll know when new videos are uploaded. Comments and questions are always welcome. A Prophet Like Moses God prophesied to Moses thousands of years before Jesus' coming, saying, I will raise up for them a prophet like you from among their brothers. And I will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak to them all that I command him. And whoever will not listen to my words that he shall speak in my name, I myself will require it of him. Deuteronomy 18 verses 18 to 19 This prophecy was given by God when he was present upon Mount Sinai, during which time the Ten Commandments were given. We now read the warning and preparation for this event. Yahweh said to Moses, Behold, I will come to you in a thick cloud, so that the people may hear when I speak with you and may also believe in you forever. Then Moses told the words of the people to Yahweh, And you shall set bounds for the people all around, saying, Beware that you do not go up on the mountain or touch the border of it. Whoever touches the mountain shall surely be put to death. And Moses brought the people out of the camp to meet God, and they stood at the foot of the mountain. Exodus 19 verses 9 and 12, 17 The sights and sounds of this event were too much for the people and they asked that they no longer be able to hear God's voice. In order to accommodate the people's request, God told them, Yahweh your God will raise up for you a prophet like Moses from among you, from your brothers, you shall listen to him. This is according to all that you asked of Yahweh your God in Horeb on the day of assembly, saying, Let me not hear again the voice of Yahweh my God. Let me not see this great fire any more, or I will die. And Yahweh said to me, They have spoken well. I will raise up a prophet from among their brothers, like you, and I will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak to them all that I command him. And it will be that whoever will not listen to my words which he shall speak in my name, I myself will require it of him. Deuteronomy 18 verses 15 to 19 In the New Testament we see that the prophet, who would be like Moses, was Jesus the Messiah. Repent therefore, and turn back, that your sins may be blotted out, that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord, and that he may send the Christ appointed for you. Jesus, whom heaven must receive until the time for restoring all the things about which God spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets long ago. Moses said, The Lord God will raise up for you a prophet like me from your brothers. You shall listen to him in whatever he tells you. And it shall be that every soul who does not listen to that prophet shall be destroyed from the people. Acts 3 verses 19-23 Jesus was very transparent regarding whose words he spoke while he was ministering on earth. So Jesus said to them, When you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you will know that I am he, and that I do nothing on my own authority, but speak just as the Father taught me. And he who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, for I always do the things that are pleasing to him. As he was saying these things, many believed in him. John 8 verses 28 to 30. Again, Jesus said, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words. And the word that you hear is not mine but the Father's who sent me. John 14 verses 23 to 24. In conclusion, Jesus, who claimed to be sent from God, spoke the words given to him by Yahweh God. They were not his own words. He truly was a prophet like Moses. Just as Moses was the mediator between God and the people in his day, so Jesus is the only way to God for us today. For there is one God, and one mediator also between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. 1 Timothy 2 verse 5. Jesus was. And is the last prophet, like unto Moses, and it is he whom we must obey. God, having spoken long ago to the fathers in the prophets in many portions and in many ways, in these last days spoke to us in his Son, whom he appointed heir of all things, through whom also he made the worlds. 
Hebrews 11 verses 1 to 2. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and check back for more videos. Comments and questions are always welcome.